What's up guys, welcome back to channel, welcome back to another video. In today's video, before we actually get into the E91 M3 project, um, I do want to do a little bit of a project on our house. So, um, it is finally about time that I bit the bullet and just get the rocks for my front yard. For those of you guys who don't know, I actually went ahead and worked on my side yard, dug it all up, like this entire section with my father-in-law. We made that all flat, we put some plants, we put some dividers. It looks beautiful, but we need some rocks. Because once that project is done, I can actually start tackling this section and just start making my house look a lot better. So also, my neighbors don't hate me completely when I I'm working on my cars on my driveway if you all know what I mean anyways let's head down and hopefully hopefully get a pretty good deal on some rocks um the ones I want I know is expensive I want white and black rocks kind of like the whole piece I, I don't know if it's yin yang or whatever you guys call it it's pretty dope but I really 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 want to do that kind of theme especially considering my house is black and white I think it look really good so let's head down hope to god we can get ourselves a decent deal all right guys so I just got out of the place that sells rocks and uh, long story short for half of the design that I want it's gonna cost me 224 it's actually not bad I literally thought that it's gonna cost me like somewhere around like a G or two to get all the rocks done so um, if we can actually get the other side of rocks as well for 224 we'll be in it less than 500 bucks which is pretty dang nice so anyways um, we do have to do it in three different loads because this truck can tow up to 12 uh, I think 8,000 pounds or 9,000 pounds but the payload is only 1,500 pounds so that being said we have to do three different stops let's go ahead and get our first load onto the truck Guys, they just loaded up the truck and the truck's like this right now. It's not like this, it's like this. So that is insane. Um, they said, do you want to do three different loads? It's quite a bit of a drive. And I'm like, honestly, I do want to do three loads. He's like, I can do a load and a half or maybe a whole load if you want. But typically um, you want to stick to your payload, but uh, it depends how far you drive. It may be worth putting a little bit of strain. I'm like, no, it is not worth putting any of the strain. So better safe than sorry. Plus, uh, according to my calculations, because he kind of scooped it up and gave me one full barrel. If I took a barrel and a half, how would you know how much a half is? You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to get the best bang for the buck, come back three times. We're gonna need a lot more. Oh, buddy, this is gonna be some money. And guys, about 24 hours later, we did get another load. Let's keep dropping some more rocks. another rock place and we're over here looking for some black rocks and they can sell them by the bag they're like 3,000 pounds um, but unfortunately black doesn't really look black I mean all of these that they're saying black um, they look like gray and I'm really aiming for the black the thing is the black is like 1600 a yard I got all that white for under like 300 bucks at my house um, so black I'm not really trying to spend like two grand um, for a yard and a half or even two and a half grand um, so we're trying to just try to find the best color for the money. I'll get back to y'all once we actually find something somewhat reasonable. Guys, I think I figured out how to target fat loss 
in your stomach. I'm pretty much just sweating in this area. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I am sweating so, so, so much. I mean, I do know what's going on. This is some intense labor. But I don't know if you guys can see over here. We got the yin yang right here. It looks so, so, so good. So we have the black and the white that complement each other so, so, so nicely. I do have some more plans. I kind of want to get some, maybe like a small little fence in the back there just to kind of get it like a good background. And then I'm definitely going to be putting kind of like a plant lights on the bottom of here. I mean, this is obviously not my main focus on this channel. I I have the full DIY on how exactly I did this on my second channel. I'm pretty much doing a bunch of things on my second channel that's pretty much fun and I want to show you guys on my primary channel because I know a lot of you guys that are car enthusiasts are also DIYers and I'm sure if you guys get homes you guys are going to want to do some renovations yourself and I just think this looks so 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 good. I'm so proud of myself like I cannot believe how good this thing turned out, especially from down here. This looks so, so, so good. And also shout out to my father-in-law as well. I know he's gonna be watching this video. He actually helped me do all the prep work. Honestly, guys, laying out the rocks is one thing, but doing all the prep work, literally, I mean, I laid out the rocks probably in total, maybe like six hours worth and to lay out all the rocks, like to get it and lay it out. So not too much time, maybe eight hours, um, but to actually get this all kind of like leveled out, took us like a good three or four days, 12 hours a day, me and my father-in-law going at it ham. So yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see some more renovations on this channel just kind of like on this side i know goon squad i watch them they do a lot of home renovations they actually build homes and they also build cars they are honestly one of my most favorite channels to watch just because like honestly they remind me of myself i love to do things like that i'm not as skilled as them um but it is important to try new things every single day like i always say because you because trust me guys you guys can just surprise yourself with what you can accomplish if you just put your mind to it and this is just like honestly guys i can't believe it i saw this image on google i don't know if you guys can see it real quick this is an image that I found on Google and I was like, I want to replicate this. Obviously this has three plants. This is a smaller distance. We went ahead and did four plants, but you guys can see, I think we did a pretty good job replicating it. And now if you actually put some lights over here, it's going to look insane. Now without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump into the backyard and start working on the E91 build. Currently in my backyard, as you guys know, uh, and a man with the dream to eventually build an E91 M3. That, that is the absolute goal with our E90 M3 donor car. Um, actually, before we actually get into today's video, start stripping down the E91 any further, uh, I do I want to mention that this particular E90 M3 is pretty much perfect. I mean, a lot of you guys even told me, Nor, you should probably just repair this quarter panel, stop on a new bumper, stop on a new trunk, and you could probably get this thing back on the road with no problems. Yeah, it does also need an alternator, and that pretty much will get rid of all the lights. No airbags deployed. It is a run and drive. Suspension is perfect. Nothing else was honestly damaged. And yes, would it be more cost effective to just do that? Yes, absolutely. It is an amazing spec. But imagine this spec being in an E91 M3. How insane would that be? And a lot of you guys said, just fix this, get rid of it, get another donor car, and then, you know, build the E90 one using another donor car the thing is um even if i get another donor car i would want it in the exact same shape this particular donor car is because i need every single part when you build an e91 m3 you need literally every single part in the whole interior on the whole front end from the sides and everything so if i get one that's smacked for half the price, I'll still have to end up spending so much more money getting those extra parts. I'll probably be in the exact same boat or probably even more. Actually, the, getting a donor car makes life a whole lot cheaper. So that is the reason I picked up this particular donor car. Now, can this one be saved? Definitely, but that's not the goal of this build. The goal is, is to get a good donor car and build an amazing E91 M3. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. And I think I have a color in mind that I'm very excited about. But just like in the last video, we have so much to do in this car to fully get it stripped down. So the goal is honestly to get everything out of this interior. We might actually start doing some things to the rear as well, like removing this hatch, removing the rear bumper. But my honestly, my main goal is to figure out a way to get these two driver's seat and passenger seats out. We have no power to the car, so it is going to be kind of a pain to get these things moving. But if we can figure out a way to get these two seats moving and out of the car and get the rest of the interior all out of the car, we can finally remove everything else like this wiring harness, uh, the brake booster, everything out of this engine bay, and the whole engine bay should be ready for paint.
All right, guys, so after a little bit of time, we did get the passenger seat out. We did get a lot of the trim out. We got the dashboard out. Um, all very good progress. You still have a lot of the wiring, which is kind of scaring me. I don't know how I'm gonna get all this out and reroute all this. Um, but anywho, so one step at a time, guys. The thing is for me right now, this driver's seat will not come out. So I actually went ahead, peeled back this insulation right here. And you guys can see, this thing has two positives and two negatives. This harness right here for the passenger side only has one positive and one negative. So this isn't actually gonna work on the driver's side. So actually you need one for the passenger, one for the driver, or just get a driver one. It should work on both sides. So I'm gonna head on a pickle pull right now, get another harness. I would cut out of this car, but I don't know if I'm gonna be using the harness on this car. And I would cut out of that car, but I could be using the harness on that car. So to be just safe, I'm just gonna go out and pickle pull, cut off one of their cars because they're gonna junk it anyways. And then hopefully we can get this driver's seat out because if we can get the seat out, guys, um, we can actually rip out all these carpets and we're making so much more progress. So I'll come back to you guys with either some good news or some bad news as soon as I get back. And guys, after a couple hours, finally went to pickle pull, got something neat at the same time. I finally found a cable, which is on a driver's seat. It's got two positives, two negatives. Uh, I have both these bad boys now. Let's hook it up to our Milwaukee battery and let's hope to God this driver's seat moves because once it moves, guys, we can start ripping apart so much more of the interior. Guys, it's still not working after all of that. And I thought we had it figured out. So this little piggyback harness will work on the passenger side, but the driver's side, I think the only thing we have left to do is to literally start stripping it down from the top until we can get to the motors. And then, ah, uh, little tip if you guys are ever gonna do a project like this, uh, remove the seats before anything. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> right, guys. guys, it worked. All you gotta do is literally put a jumper to the front. My ass went to pick and pull and everywhere. I could have just put a jumper. Oh my God. And just like that, guys, you have the rear carpets out of the car. This thing is looking a lot, lot, lot better. Honestly, everything looks really clean down here as well. So it's gonna be pretty easy to get sanded. The wire loom we're actually gonna be replacing. So I actually really wanted to reuse the body loom, the body wiring. Um, but unfortunately, the fuel tank caps and the fuel fuel tank wiring is different. Um, we're gonna have the wiring for the buttons over here, the wiring to the cluster, the wiring to everything over here, and uh, the what's it called? The um, fuse box uh, i'm sure the wires the fuse box is different all that stuff's gonna be different and to repin everything is gonna be an absolute nightmare thankfully since we got an e90 that's the reason i got an e90 it has four doors it has the trunk it has everything so uh honestly the length as well should be pretty much identical based off other people trying to do this conversion i see no issues using that exact wiring harness it should literally take away the stress of having any electrical issues throughout this conversion because if i do use this wiring harness there's a lot that can go wrong and we have to restrip everything so honestly do the job right the first First time and we don't have to do this again which would be so much nicer and honestly guys i'm just too excited i mean hopefully um the next episode guys we're gonna literally try to remove as much things from this interior like this whole front area should be completely stripped down to the bone and possibly honestly we're gonna try to work on the rear as well if you guys are enjoying the e91 m3 build make sure to smash the like button and share it with a friend and just drop a comment down below what you guys think of this project so far and if you guys have any advice throughout this project this is me learning in my backyard so fingers crossed this ends up being a reality not a dream i mean i'm going in this a hundred and 20%. So without further ado, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you on the next one. Peace out.